Hi, it's Santed Taylor, the Internet Marketing Coach, and what I wanted to do today was show you how to add these little ads onto your YouTube videos on your YouTube video channel. So you see the little ad pops up like that when the video starts, and it, it'll stay on the screen for a few seconds. I, I don't know, maybe it's 30 seconds or so, and then it'll go away. You can also, if you click on this ad, it'll actually take you over to the destination URL that you uh, that you put in there. So it's it's it, nice it's elegant it looks it looks good and of course it's it's practical so let's go through the process of actually doing this the first step is to um, and that in my case this is where it links to um, but the first step in setting this up is going to let me just pull this down where you can see it ads.youtube.com ads.youtube.com and if you don't have an account there you'll have to set one up real quick but it's it's easy to do and um, and it doesn't cost anything so you go set up an ad and then or set up an account once you have the account the next thing you want to do is come over here and click create a new promotion so you create a new promotion and you'll see your videos that you've just put up or that you have up on your channel displayed with the most recent at the top so what if you're gonna add this this ad to your most recent video then you just click that radio button come down to the bottom and say next and I agree so then you come down and then you'll have a place to fill in a little ad now this ad is not actually what's going to show on the video that we were just looking at so this, this is um, you, you did you know just put something in there but it's not actually going to show if you're doing this the way that that I'm recommending just to have your ad display on your video channel so in my case this is pre-populated because I've, I've already done this so I can just come in here and double click on those that the words go show up and I do that I also and this is uh, whoops click there it is. I also create for myself a little cheat sheet. So, so I have a little Word doc that I keep open where I have all this stuff written down, what the process is, and I can just cut and paste any of this if I want to do that or if I want to make changes to anything. Um, but anyway, you do that. You click, yeah, I want it to play on my YouTube channel. You click next. It'll pop you over to another place. You put in some gibberish words here because you're not actually advertising uh, you don't want to do that. What you're doing is just want your little ad to appear on your own channel. Then you say, those are my keywords. Nobody's going to obviously search on that, so that this isn't going to cost me anything. Um, then you come over here, and I put a, a nickel in, 0.05. You can see I've already had that pre-populated in there. I say next. Then I say, okay, run my promotion. And now once I once this goes through this process, now I can go back to my actual video and I can edit the video and what happens here is if you go under info and settings you'll see and this wasn't there before you did this process that we just went through but you'll see a new box called call to action overlay and this is actually what's going to appear on the video itself so what I have and again mine is, is pre-populated I've already entered this in but it, you have 25 characters for the first line and then two lines of 35. Then you can also put in your image. You notice I have my little photograph in there. And you can put any image you want, but it must be uploaded. So you need, need to have it online somewhere. And then you put your URL for that image in there. And you can see it's 56 pixels by 56 pixels is the maximum size. Um, and then you put the display URL. I had the Internet Marketing Coach as the display URL but I actually had them linking to my blog site where people could actually access the videos subscribe to the blog and so forth um, and then like we looked at earlier you come back to the page and uh, if I refresh this you'll see that that ad actually does appear right there on the page uh, so it's kind of elegant it looks good it, uh, it, it obviously like I said earlier it's practical and and it's relatively simple to do a little bit more of a process but it's uh, it's certainly not something that you can't do I'm sure I'm confident you can do it uh, anyway this is Santa Ed Taylor signing off if you have any internet marketing questions be sure to let me know